that in my sport, I am not talented. But what I do to make up for that is the hard work that I put in, especially in training. I know I have teammates who help me support me, but at the same time, I always think of it as a mini competition. You know, if they do 100 kicks, I'm going to step up and do 200 kicks. So I think that no matter how talented you are, if you don't put in the work behind it, you're still going to lack short of something. So I really believe that hard work gets you far. We just finished running. It's a little hot, but now we're gonna do sprints and I feel like we're gonna die. I train twice a day, every day, um, and when it's tournament season, I train three times a day. So regardless if I have a tournament or not, I still train twice a day. So back in April 2016, I was chosen to uh, participate in the Olympic qualifications for Rio. I had to win only two fights, one against Malaysia and the next against Thailand. And in order for me to get that ticket, I needed to win against Thailand. However, in an upsetting loss against Thailand, um, I lost my chance in also partaking in the summer. Honestly, this experience was definitely devastating. Um, I was only two points short into getting a ticket, but I, I fell down and I bounced back up even harder than I came in the ring and um, this definitely is a motivation for the next Olympics. Well, after uh, that devastating loss, and I made it my mission to um, use every tournament as a stepping stone for my goal of 2020. So, for example, right now uh, I'm training and competing for that moment, for that ticket. Everything I do, everything, every decision that I make that has to do with my sport, every um, alarm that I set up for training, all of that is in my 2020. 